Shut up, don't judge me. So I can still plan my shot knowing that I can put the cameras in a lot of places. Right now it's in the handheld setup. Uh, we want to capture more on the raw emotion side of things and I feel the handheldness of, of it all gives it a very nice feeling. Yeah. Okay, what about Yuki? Yuki is our first AC. So what do you have to say about this camera? This battery camera life is very good. Then Don't I'll, make her lazy. Like, yeah, <laughs> I only need to charge two batteries in one day. The SDI output really helps a lot. Okay, our DP, our handsome, very very handsome DP. What do you have to say about this camera? It has a really nice color bit rate. It shoots at 10 bit 422. And the best part is it has really slow-mo function, like shooting at 240 frames per second at 2K resolution. So there were a lot of special shots that we can achieve at a slow-mo that a lot of smaller cameras cannot achieve. And we just want to give a big shout out to Panasonic Malaysia for loaning this unit for us to shoot because this has been a great help for this short film. So do look out for the short film and everything was shot on this camera. I, I got a lot of inspiration from uh, a lot of different places, you know, some is uh, personal inspiration, some are things I've noticed out there between fathers and son and uh, it's something I think a lot of people are going to be able to relate to. There were a lot, a lot of challenges in, in this project. Uh, one is, is time. I think everyone would like to have a little bit more time in preparing for this film. Um, another challenge for me was uh, the casting. It was, it, it was a really tough process and we went through a number of people before we finally started on the cast that we wanted. And one of the bigger challenges for me uh, was that this script is written in English but it's going to be performed in Mandarin. I had to communicate in Mandarin and sometimes I, I can't really find the words to say what I want to say in Mandarin because uh, my first language is English. But luckily I had help from a lot of people who could help me translate and try and get the message across. And In the end we, we managed to get to work where we needed to be. And I think it, it, it's it's a big step for not just for me but for the entire team as well. We did most of the work in house from the art to the lighting. Very thankful and very grateful that uh, a lot of our teammates uh, really put a lot of effort into this project just to to make sure it's it looks good and, and the story that is told is, is feels more genuine. Director, I also set them. And because we're a small team, we have to multitask a lot of things and I think that, that benefits everyone also because on top of what they're doing on their own, they get to oversee what other departments are doing and they get to learn from the other departments. And For me, I like this because it's a better flow of communication. We can all try and achieve the same things because we are all under the same roof looking at the same picture. So that's, that's one of the, the nice things I like about having everyone in-house. Uh, I hope you guys watched, have already watched the film. If not, please go and do so. And uh, please let me know what you think. I hope you really like it. And please don't forget to appreciate your parents because uh, despite what it may look like, they really do everything and anything for you. And for all the parents out there, uh, thank you so much for being wonderful parents. And I hope you guys can enjoy it. Thank you.
My character name is Ken. He is currently age 17. And Ken, he has this dream of being a professional football player. He's a hustler and he works hard to get to where he wants to be. And he's determined to go through his trials and error to get to where he wants to be. Speaking of challenges, we just had one challenge <laughs> where literally I had to kick the ball, exactly hit the top corner of the goalpost, and we had to take about 30 something takes, which I really, really want to give thanks to all the, the cast and crew, you know, for their patience and, you know, it was fun, it was really fun. Mike is um, one crazy, talented guy that was really, really um, a mentor figure for me in this whole shoot because mainly one is that. Uh, his Chinese proficiency is much better than I and he has so much experience in, 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 in Chinese films and while doing scenes with him I had a little bit of a struggle with you know like making sense of the, the Chinese lines and he was there to help me edit it, help me to sort of figure out how to make things so much smoother I think that's the thing and he helped me make sense of a lot of things. The world we live in nowadays is there's a lot of reacting, reacting, reacting and Sometimes all you need to do is to be there, present, and to listen what the other person has to say um, and to make sure that their words are valuable, are just as valuable as yours. And I hope um, audiences can see themselves reflect upon this show and um, I hope you guys are part of the show. Shut up, don't judge me. I'm called Mai Chua, Chinese called Chai Weixiang. Before I filmed my film, whether I was my son or my daughter, I was not able to express it. But the first part, I was not concerned about my son. When he told me, I hope he will leave the mother of my daughter. 而是你，那句话给我的感受是特别的深。为什么我活活生生的在你前面，你会去纪念妈妈而不纪念我呢？其实演戏也好，做导演也好，做我们这行，呃，人生历练是很重要。而且我本身都是人家的父亲嘛，所以呃，儿子的叛逆期啊，或者是呃感受，我一定有。呃，其实拍微电影，就像这种亲情的，呃，最主要是有一个启发，好像说我在戏里面跟我儿子就是缺乏的沟通。其实大家就是在意对方的，就是因为沟通，大家呃变得陌生人。希望这部微电影能够给呃现在的父母，或者是比我年纪还大的父母，不要太固执。因为年轻人他有他自己年轻人的思想，没有对与错，只是大家沟通是最重要。如果妈妈还在的话，我可能还有未来。有时候，我真的希望走的人是你，而不是爸妈。